Texas Tech 41, Iowa State 38. What a fabulous football game. Uh, I just, I, <laughs> I found myself glued to this game for a long time. Brock Purdy, 32 out of 42 passing, 356 yards, two touchdowns, uh, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. That's that's what he's got to get better at. Brees Hall. I mean, what what the hell are we doing here? Like, I, I just, uh, Texas Tech's defense is not, they, no. this ain't the 85 Bears here. Like they, they just made up their mind they weren't going to let Brees beat them. They were going to put the ball in Brock's hands, and Brock played really well, but he didn't play well enough, and their defense didn't play good at all. This no. is a game. This is a team where you thought Matt Campbell's supposed to be able to be a good defensive coach. Well, I mean, I, he's he's not a defensive guy, but he's established a really strong culture. He's got a good defensive staff. I was about to say um, he built this team from a defensive perspective, not an yeah. offensive perspective, though. Right, right. It, it, this was. And on defense, they were they were trashed. I mean, they gave up 529 yards to Texas Tech uh, with a. Can, are we going to call him a backup or is he like the new starter? I don't know. Uh, the the kid Smith guy Donovan Smith. He's a freshman quarterback. 25 out of 32, uh, 322 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, and he also ran the ball 14 times for 50 yards. 529 yards, 322 of which were passing. 207 yards on the ground for Texas Tech. I mean that's the ball game right there. Like that's I just it. that's it. it un- unbelievable game for Texas Tech. Weird, 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 inexplainable game for for Iowa State. Is this a thing where we're just going to see a pattern here of teams looking? They, they all think Oklahoma's beatable, and if you beat Oklahoma, it brings donors out of the woodworks. And so we're just going to overlook the week beforehand so we can show up and play. If they beat Oklahoma, this is just a new path. Is because losing at Texas Tech doesn't cost Iowa State a nickel. But beating Oklahoma makes you millions of dollars with the extra donor money that just comes pouring in. Yes. Yes. I, I, this is exactly what Baylor did, by the way. And I'm going to tell you, I, I don't know what the number is going to be. I'll be betting Iowa State against Oklahoma next week. And I know that's at Oklahoma. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think they were looking ahead towards Oklahoma. They think Oklahoma's gettable. And they said, hey, let's worry about getting them. We think we could beat Texas Tech without practice. Baylor thought they could beat TCU without practice. And it didn't work out, but guess what? If you told me you can lose to TCU but beat Oklahoma, every team in the Big 12 would take it. I agree. I agree. Even Uh, TCU. Garibay, by the way. Can't believe believe that wasn't a record. I just can't believe that wasn't a record. Let's start off with this first, um, because they don't win this game without the first field goal, which was at the end of the first half. And he hit it from 45. He he had two field goals on the That's day. That's right. A 45 yarder at the end of the first half is, with no time. 45 left. is big in college football. Yes. 45 is big. It's not unheard of. 62. 62 to close the game. Nope. Nobody even attempts that. He he did not hit a field goal with time left on the clock in either half. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. L- listen, hang on, hang on. The the sixty nine yarder was not twenty one year or nineteen twenty one or whatever. It was it was nineteen seventy six and it was from Abilene Christian. So that wasn't even FBS. It wasn't even FBS. That's just ridiculous. But sixty two, like props. Well, the FBS wasn't a thing in nineteen seventy six. Agreed. Also agreed. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.